Hey, welcome everybody. Uh, yesterday we looked at David and um, how he uh, sinned with Bathsheba and also killed her husband. And uh, he, if you did read Psalm 51 yesterday, you know that David was very penitent about this once it was pointed out to him. And uh, he then fasted and prayed because one of the things God told him is that there'll be consequences, that um, his son by Bathsheba would die uh, right at birth, and that there would be problems throughout his family the, uh, from now on. And uh, so then uh, David prays and fasts, hoping that God will change his mind and save this child. And, uh, and God doesn't. God, the child dies uh, in childbirth. So um, I guess, well, let's just read a little bit about what happens next. He said, uh, David replied, I fasted and wept while the child was alive. For I said, perhaps the Lord will be gracious to me and let the child live. But why should I fast when he is dead? Can I bring him back again? I will go to him one day, but he cannot return to me. Then David comforted Bathsheba, his wife, and slept with her. She became pregnant and gave birth to a son, and David named him Solomon. Well, we know who Solomon is, don't we? King Solomon, uh, who asked for wisdom. Um, but here, here's the thing. Your sins are all forgiven in Jesus Christ, so that they aren't held against you in um, you know, the resurrection. In fact, God doesn't remember your sins any longer because of what Jesus Christ has done for you on the cross. But the consequences of sin remain. So, for example, if you uh, step out on your spouse, um, there will be consequences. God cannot cannot do anything about those consequences. You know, your spouse will lack trust from now on. It'll uh, maybe do something to respect your reputation. Your children will uh, not. I mean, if you play that tape out, it's not really worth it. But we often don't play the tape out when it comes to sin, do we? What I mean by the tape is you play, well, how is this going to do, you know, how is this going to affect the rest of my life? Um, so the consequences of sin are still there, even though the forgiveness has been given. And that's what David is experiencing. Um, he um, had sinned gr grievously, killed someone just for his own benefit, and, uh, and really stole, uh, stole a wife away from this man, Uriah. And now there's going to be consequences. Baby's going to die. There's going to be problems in David's family. And, you know, maybe you, you might think, well, God's going to cause these problems. Well, no, I don't think so. I think these problems start because of what we do back, you know, what he did back with Bathsheba, that he kind of put into his family a thing um, where you could cheat and do things that weren't helpful. And that started, but, but that's a consequence of sin in our lives. Um, so, but, it, but here's the other thing. Then even though we blow it, even though David blew it, well, let's just look at the story of David. Because Bathsheba then is his wife because he killed Bathsheba's husband. Um, but if you go into Matthew, uh, beginning of Matthew, you'll see that Bathsheba is mentioned in the line of Jesus. So God uses this bad situation for Jesus Christ and the salvation of the world. So it's a strange mix, isn't it? I mean, we're forgiven all our sins, but there are consequences still of sin, but that God can use even the, all those consequences to get done what God wants to get done. Um, that is a, a nice view of the Christian life. And, uh, and, and what God is all about. He's not going to get in the way of the consequences we create from our sin, but he is going to use all of that to the betterment of the kingdom of God. Um, uh, it, it's an amazing thing. So uh, a couple things. One is all your sins are forgiven. Know that right 
from now. They, God has uh, said to you, your sins are forgiven, number one. Number two, think through your sin. We all sin, but there are consequences to our sinning. And we should really play that tape through. That's an AA thing. You know, if you take this one drink, it doesn't seem like much, but it leads to a whole bunch of drinks and to a whole life that I no longer want in my life. Um, so think through the consequences of sin. But know also that even though we blow it, God is able to take what's happened and turn it into good for those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose, Romans 8, 28. Anyway, have a good day. I hope this uh, helps a little bit, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.